One of the main villains for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is the infamous Shredder. Notorious leader of the Foot Clan and all around pointy person. But the real life inspiration for this character is actually a little cheesy. Hello everyone, my name is Ricky, and Scott is unfortunately trapped somewhere in Dimension X, I assume. So I will be bringing you the real origins of Shredder. Now it's no secret that Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird created the Ninja Turtles as kind of a joke to parody a lot of the comics that were out of the time, like X-Men and Daredevil. They came up with most of the ideas for the comic, essentially trying to come up with the most ridiculous ideas that they could, and Shredder was no exception. So the legend has been told a few ways, but essentially Kevin Eastman was washing his dishes one day and had one of those cheese graters. It was like, think a cowbell, but with little divots. He either cut his hand or something, but either way, he put his hand through the cheese grater, grabbed it by the handle and said, could you imagine a guy with weapons on his arms like this? This guy would be lethal. Reportedly almost named the Grater, which is just a laughable villain name, Peter Laird suggested the Shredder, and thus a legendary villain was born. Well, almost. You see, although Shredder is depicted as the main antagonist in the Ninja Turtles franchise, it was actually never really Eastman and Laird's intention in the original Marriage comics. In truth, though many TMNT fans who became fans via the first animated series see Shredder as a really important part of an ongoing, long-running battle with the Turtles. I don't think Kevin or I ever did. Yes, he was an important part of their history, and they probably would not have come to an existence without his involvement in their world, or more accurately, Splinter's world, but that's about it. Other than bringing Shredder back for the return of New York and the few issues preceding it setting that arc up, I never missed him in any other TMNT books I worked on. You see, Shredder in the original comics at the time had only really made two major appearances. One was in the first issue where he, spoiler alert, straight up got murdercated by the Ninja Turtles. And then in the aforementioned Return to New York story where they brought him back. In fact, Peter Laird said his reason for killing off Shredder in the first issue is because, well, he didn't really plan on making a second one. And the reason is that we never really thought we'd be doing a second one. But when the comic book had become wildly successful and was being adapted into a cartoon series, Shredder was the obvious choice for a villain. Animation writer David Wise, who worked on Godzilla, Transformers, and He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, drew from the comics and his experience as an animation writer to develop the framework for the five episode miniseries that the Turtles was going to launch with. Inside the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Visual History, David Wise says, My input initially was to take the basic concept from the comics and find something I could latch onto. There's a character in the comic called Shredder who had a direct connection with Hamato Yoshi, the owner of the rat that became Splinter. My first thought was that he looks great Great. Half Darth Vader, half Toshiro Mifune. He's got a direct connection to the Turtles, so let's make him the uber villain of the series. And since then, Shredder has become a prominent figure in every single incarnation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Including the next mutation, the one that we try to forget. But this shouldn't come as a surprise since the Ninja Turtles cartoon show became enormously important in developing the entire Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe. What do you think? Are you glad that Shredder became the big baddie in the TMNT universe? Will you forever see cheese graters as a sign of great evil? <laughs> Let's talk about it in the comments. And if you like this video, head on over to my channel where I have a whole playlist of Ninja Turtles goodness. Uh, I made some Ninja Turtle cosplay that turned out comical. That's a favorite of mine. And if you haven't seen it already, check out the Comic Misconceptions video where Daredevil definitely played a hand in creating the Ninja Turtles. It's just factual, so watch the video to verify it. This is Ricky encouraging you to read between the panels and grow smarter through comics. Again, I'm Ricky. Thanks for listening to my voice at the end of this thing. Hello? Ricky?